Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sunday Swiss Physics project, but this time I'm coming to you live from another country. I have moved to the Netherlands, and I'm living in the city called The Hague for one year. But Stampin' Up! has graciously allowed me to keep my Stampin' Up! business online, so I'm going to try and do a video tutorial for you today using a new setup and a new process. So let's see how well it works. All of my stamping stuff is still coming in the mail, so I brought with me my Everyday Occasions card kit and decided I would use one of the card ideas suggested in the guide and add my own little touch to it. This is one of the cards in the kit, but the uh, instruction booklet suggests that I use this side of the card to as my card front, and then the pattern side will be on the back. So I'm going to give that a go. I love the fancy fan embossing folder, so I'm going to use my Big Shot and my folder to emboss the blank front of the card. So I'm going to bring in my Big Shot. And I have my platform on tab one. Let me turn it this way so you can see it better. I'm going to have my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put my card front inside the fancy fan embossing folder. I'm going to wrap the card around and underneath. And then I'm going to put the top standard cutting pad on top and run it through the big shot and that will emboss the front of the card and there we go hopefully you can see the fans embossed across the front of the card and then to finish the card I have the Everyday Occasions Card Kit Stamp Set, and I've got the Thank You mounted on the clear block that comes in the kit. I have one of the little tag embellishments, and in the kit you also get um, a spot that's Island Indigo, so I'm going to ink up. This is a great kit if you travel like I do, if you have a beach house or a mountain house, and you still want to take your crafts with you, this card kit is perfect for that. And then I'm just going to stamp the thank you down on the center of the tag. There we go. So it looks like that. And then I am going to grab a couple of other elements. There's some silver glimmer paper I've cut a little strip of. And then there's this little tag embellishment that I'm going to use. I'm going to start with the tag embellishment. It's like a banner embellishment, really. I'm going to put that along the front of the card. The great thing about the Fancy Fan folder is that you can use the embossed marks on the front of it so that you'll go nice and straight. And then I'm going to, let's see, I have some Stampin' Dimensionals, and I've got, let's see, I'm going to put the um, stamped image on next. That'll help me line up everything else that I want to put on my card front. So I've got the thank you, like so. And then I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals, and there's a couple of feather embellishments that are in the kit. You just punch them out, put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back, and Put them on the front. Looks like I got some ink on my fingers, which means I have a little bit of ink on my card. That happens sometimes. So let's see. I can cover up the ink mark by using a feather on that side. And then I have one of the little button embellishments with some basic gray baker's twine, and I've already gone ahead and made a ribbon on it and I'm going to add that embellishment near the top of my card. And then the last thing I have is a little piece of silver glimmer paper, and it's always best when you're using the silver glimmer paper to 
Okay. Use a little bit of sticky strip and that'll hold your silver glimmer paper down. Snail adhesive or any other kind of adhesive doesn't work very well with the silver glimmer paper. So I've cut just a tiny piece and that will hold that whole strip on nice and tight. And that will complete the front of my card. I'm just going to tuck it under the feather for just a touch of added bling on my card front. And there we go. A really cute little card that I added a special touch to using my Big Shot and my Fancy Fan Embossing Folder. For a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements that I used for this card, please hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber. I have my first edition of my January 2014 newsletter coming out next week. You can place an order for the Everyday Occasions card kit or other project ideas that you see on my blog. You can ask me a question or you can join a couple of my online clubs. I have a Techniques Online, I have a Cards in the Mail Club, and I have a My Digital Studio Club that's all done online. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.